nurses say they were tricked by Children's Hospital, hired with a promise that their grad school tuition would be covered by the hospital, only to get told this week, not happening. They told our Steve Steger they're faced with the choice to quit or go deeply into debt. I think I go back between feeling like really frustrated and then just being upset and um, a bit tearful. Children's Hospital Colorado nurses and behavioral health specialists have been filling my inbox today. It just seems extremely unfair and immoral to pull something like this. All asking for anonymity out of a fear of losing their jobs. There is always a risk of retaliation. But no less ticked off. This is our future and our career and our uh, motivations at, at stake here. They all got this communication from the HR director at Children's this week, letting them know a program the hospital established last year to fully fund graduate degree programs is no longer going to fully fund graduate degree programs. And then they like heavily leaned on it during the hiring process. They were like, you could have uh, your master's paid for. Children's was still advertising tuition covered benefits on its website today. In May of last year, they boasted in a news release about being the first pediatric hospital in the country to offer tuition coverage as a benefit. The notice from HR this week says enrollments in that program were higher than expected and it got too expensive. You literally offered a piece of gold to people and expected them not to take it. Leaving a lot of these frontline healthcare workers who were already part way through a program facing a tough choice. Once I got the email, I had, you know, a mini panic attack and started calculating and it's it's going to be um, at least $35,000. So this isn't really about like being upset that we're not getting a free handout. It's that we made decisions that pretty profoundly impact our current circumstances as well as our future. And without a conversation, that was retracted. Children's Hospital wouldn't interview with us about this today, but in a statement they told us this is part of a routine assessment of their benefits and they didn't make the decision without serious consideration of various options. They did point out that they will still pay up to $5,250 each year toward employee tuition, Kyle, but the problem is a lot of these programs cost a whole lot more and a lot of them were very specific. Some of these nurses told me we wouldn't have done this program yeah. had it not been paid for. I mean, in that case, people have like upended their entire lives based on a pledge or a promise that evaporates. Yeah, and you know, they're hoping that Children's Hospital might consider kind of grandfathering some of them into this program, paying for the tuition for the rest of the way out, mm -hmm. maybe cutting some of the benefits for newer employees if they're going to do something like this. Children's today told us they're going to stick with that $5,250 each year. It's a really interesting story. They do incredible work, so you just want people to be respected. Uh, I know folks are not seeing you on Nexus often these days. You're doing a lot of this uh, consumer investigative reporting uh, for Nine News through Steve on your side, so people can keep an eye out for that. If you run into an issue, you want Steve to look at it, shoot him a note. Yes. You're hard it. to find, Steve, like Coach Prime. Steve at 9news.com, yeah. All right. Hard to find. Thanks, sir.